Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is 4 and 51 hundredths times 2 and 7 tenths? And here, we're not going to be using a calculator, so we're going to be working through this by hand. Now here, we have a multiplication problem involving decimals. And whenever we have a multiplication problem involving decimals, the first thing that we can do is remove any of the decimals. So let's rewrite this as 451 times 27. And once we remove any decimals, we multiply. So we start with seven times one, that's seven. Then we have seven times five, that's 35. And then seven times four is 28, plus that three is 31. We are done with this seven and this three. Now we move over to the two. So we are moving one place to the left here. So we need our placeholder zero. Now we multiply two times one, that's two. Two times five, is 10, and then two times four is eight, plus that one is nine. And now we add seven plus zero is seven, five plus two is seven, one plus zero is one, and then three plus nine is 12. So we end up with 12,177. But this isn't our final answer we need to place the decimal in our answer. And we do that by looking back at the original problem and seeing how many decimal digits we have. How many digits are to the right of a decimal? Well, this five is one, this one is two, and this seven is three. So we have three decimal digits in our original problem. That means our answer needs to have three decimal digits, three digits to the right of the decimal. So one digit, two digits, three digits to the right of the decimal. The decimal goes in between the two and the one. And this is our final answer, 12 and 177 thousandths, which that is choice D. And that's our final answer. Now to recap, whenever we have a multiplication problem involving any decimals, our first step, remove any decimals. Our second step, multiply. And then lastly, our third step, we place the decimal in our answer. Now if you need more help or more examples as far as multiplying decimals, check the description for a follow-up video. Now, whether you are studying for a test, learning this in class, just looking for a problem to solve, or whatever the case may be, I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.